Today is the day American patriots start taking down names and kicking ass. <laughs> Louder, are you willing to do what it takes to fight for America? <laughs> Louder, will you fight for America? Last thing before we go tonight, that was Mo Brooks, Republican Alabama congressman, Trumper, big lie believer, insurrection enthusiast. That was him whipping up the crowd on 1-6. He later admitted he was wearing body armor that day, appearing before all those nice people and tourists who were interested in exploring the history and wonders of our Capitol building. Staying on insurrection brand, Brooks put out a statement today about that would-be bomber and pickup truck terrorist who shut down most of Capitol Hill this morning. And after all the boilerplate language that he had to say about how happy he was, everybody was safe, Brooks was sympathetic in the statement, quote, I understand citizenry anger directed at dictatorial socialism and its threat to liberty, freedom, and the very fabric of American society. The way to stop socialism's march is for patriotic Americans to fight back in the 2022 and 2024 elections. I strongly encourage patriotic Americans to do exactly that, more so now than ever before, bluntly stated, America's future is at risk. That's pretty much everything you need to know about Mo Brooks, educated, by the way, at Duke University and the University of Alabama Law School. It is also why Mo Brooks has a cameo in the following video by the Republican Accountability Project. We are in a battle for the soul of the Republican Party, and I intend to win it. Matt Gates and other Trump ultra loyalists are fighting for a Republican Party that promotes lies. The election was stolen. There was fraud. President Trump won this election. Violence. All your congressmen. You, you can lightly threaten. You got to go to the streets and be violent. And promotes anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene speculated that the fire, which killed 85 people, was sparked by a Jewish space laser. And now they want to exile Republicans like Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger for standing up to a president that caused an insurrection on the United States Capitol. To save the soul of the Republican Party, we must stand up for those who act with integrity and against the ones that lie. Mo Brooks and his esteemed colleagues to take us off the air tonight. And that'll do it for our broadcast on a Thursday evening, along with our thanks for being here with us. On behalf of all our colleagues at these networks of NBC News, good night. <laughs>